All right, Hammett, we're gonna chart the sofa. So we start, you can see the weekly is highlighted. Now I told you I use my color codes, yellow for weekly. And this is just it, brother. So you go to draw, horizontal line. And we're gonna top it on the open and close of the week. So you can see this one kind of touches three weeks. So I almost don't even, well, I don't even have to draw a line for those weeks. So you pop one there. Drawing lines. Okay. So we go back. This week pretty much overlapped. Well, let's have one in here. It's kind of close, but fuck it. And then on something like this, I would make this red. Basically, if you get below this level, you're going down to, like, this level. So, if I was going to trade SoFi, that's basically about all I would chart on the uh, weekly. Then you move to the daily. Now, you can see a lot of the daily candles. Not all of them, obviously, but... Got this monster up here, change it to blue. But you can see these two days, they closed and opened at this weekly support. You know, same thing with one, two, basically three, four candles these last four days. And these two, one, almost. Every single day it's closed or opened at, at a weekly support already. So weekly supports are very important. But it's just blue lines, brother. You know, at the open and the close of every day. And then you can see, I'll show you right here. Just by looking at it, there was a gap from right here to right here. And that gap got filled. Right there on the fourth. So there's a big gap up. 27th to the 28th and then a couple days later on the 4th your gap well you actually entered the gap after the 1st and then you just trend it down and you fill the gap over 3 days so a little bit of a lesson while you're charting you can just spot gaps you know you got Blue lines, dude. You know, on the open and close of days. Easy. Strictly support and resistance. Which is my main go to. Now, I'll go to the hourly. I personally like the hourly. Now you don't have to, you don't have to make a line for every hour, but you know, it can be overkill, especially on a chart like this. But like big reversals like this, this double top, especially. Let me zoom in a bit. That double top. Or a 
first down up an hourly right there at the top um, and you could pop one more hourly you know basically at any of these candles you know <coughs> this was a big you know we could do all three <coughs> see right away that this this range right here was pretty important you know and this hourly resistance it, it tested it you know one two three four times in the last several hours several hours <coughs> so if you didn't have <clears throat> that hourly resistance level you wouldn't know why the hell it kept bouncing off that price. This one's probably gonna touch all three. Let's see. Yep. So this candle, that candle, that candle. It's basically that hourly resistance. It just never got above it. And every time it hit it, it rejected all. I mean, it wicked up a little bit. But it closed at that hourly resistance. And you know, it broke it, but it always closed below it. You know, you can even see here on this candle, it wicked up to it and never broke through it. So you'd be fooling yourself. some more hourlies and make a couple more for the video's sake minute chart and you can see it's not a, an exact science I mean you have candles up in this level 842 level that we don't have a line for but just take a look you know go from right to left you can see that you know our hourly support here all these hourly supports daily support it ran up to you know, couldn't close above it. You know, in the morning it was above a daily support. Came down to an hourly support. Pre market. Actually, this was at the open. At the open, it came off an hourly support. Broke another hourly, broke a weekly, broke an hourly. Broke a couple of hourlies and then broke the daily. That's a pretty big, big pop for uh, so far. Nice move in the morning, you know. But then you come down, downtrend. You know, you losing support, losing support. You get down to about another support, double bottom right there. You know, you build back up to resistance, the daily resistance. You know, you wick above it a couple times, you pop back down. Once you can't break resistance, because we have a chart, resistance is right there. Once you can't break resistance, you know you're looking to sell or getting the puts. You, know, you get it back down to an hourly. You know, it doesn't go below the hourly. That's time to get out. Goes back up to the daily. Actually fights back over the daily. But like I said, if you look, you know, if you look, just look left when you're trading. If you look to the left, you have, I can't make a circle, but the opening candles, the one, 
two, three candles. About a half hour later, you have these three candles at the same price level. Oh look, look at these wicks. See, this is when I, where I would make an intraday line. And I'll usually make mine white. See? You have the opening candle, the 945 candle, you have a wick above that white line. And that's where it opened and closed with the double top. And this big wick with all that selling pressure. And then you come, you know, from 930, 945 all the way to 1110. And you, again, you have two five minute candles that wick above this line just like it did in the morning and then boom it never closed above it and then broke down and broke down for the rest of the day to a weekly and then an hourly support so optimally your trade would have been like boom right there you're at the, the high of the day and it won't break high a day you come down and then you're finding your supports. You found support right there at about 825. And the MACD doesn't really show it, but optimally that's your bottom. Once you see, you know, buyers come in and they're at this hourly support or above it, it's time to get the fuck out of Dodge and take profit. So that's basically how I chart in a nutshell. I, I need to have lines. And like I told you, I, I make lines intraday. Like if I think there's a major level, like it looks like right here, it was a major level. There you can see. So this one two three four five six seven candles to the or right close right at or open right above it and then this one went down to it this one went down to it this one broke all the way down with below it closed at it these are intraday levels you got to draw intraday levels especially if you see you know, important levels. You, know, you can trade. Let's zoom out a little bit. This, this rain, I mean, this was kind of choppy up and down all day. But if it was to stay in like just one range, like earlier when I showed you, you know, it popped back up to the higher day. You know, you just look left, you know, and you have your intraday, you know, high of day already drawn. If, you, if this is all you're trading today, or if you're in this trade, you want this intraday level, this white line. Because you go from 945 to 1110, and boom, you already know where the, the price range is. You know where it got up to at 843. You know, and look, this candle, high of 843, high of 843. It never broke the high of day. And that's, you know, two candles on a row doesn't break the high of day. Two five minute candles, that's a sign for puts. You know, no one, there's not enough buying pressure to get over it. So your intraday <clears throat> resistance, it wouldn't break it. That's your sign for puts. That's how I, I chart. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is probably a long video.